A lot of business owners are finding that PDFs and free downloads are not working as well to grow their email list anymore, but something that is working is quizzes. Now, quizzes aren't relative, they're not new. <laughs> People have been using quizzes to grow their email list for several years now, but I also think you can also use quizzes to get more clients. Now, as a website designer, I always recommend that your sales pages be distraction free. I usually don't recommend that you have a freebie also on that page or pop up or anything like that. We really want to drive people to click the buy now, hire me, contact me, whatever it is, click that button and not get distracted by all these bells and whistles. But you can also have the quiz either embedded on the page, a link to it, or do a delay pop-up. So I want to kind of talk about how we can use this quiz to get people to work with you. So I'm going to share my screen. I love using Interact quizzes. Interact is a great platform. This video is not sponsored, um, but I've been using them for quizzes for several years now, and the quizzes are very easy to use. They, of course, now have AI built in so that it can help build your quiz if you need that kind of help. So uh, let's take a quick look at kind of how you could set this up. So this is an example of a quiz. I This one has three questions. You might need more. I personally wouldn't recommend too many questions um, because people kind of tend to... <laughs> to lose interest after too many questions. Um, and I really recommend for this type of quiz where we're helping people figure out maybe which service would be the best fit for them. Because sometimes I know people will have one-to-one -one services, a program or course, also a membership. And sometimes that can almost be overwhelming to people and they're like, I don't know which one is the best fit. Like how much help do I need or what am I going to get this kind of help in this offer or is it this kind of help? You know, there can be maybe some confusion, which could also be some of your website copy, but <laughs> quizzes might also be a good way to get some engagement um, and help inform the people visiting your website. So um, you'll see on Interact that you have three types of quizzes that you can create an assessment, personality, or scored. And I recommend doing a scored uh, type of quiz because you can set it up where, um, especially if your offers kind of build on each other, typically what I see with a lot of business owners is this offer gets you, you know, to level one <laughs> of copywriting, level two, you know, we do everything, level three, now we're even doing email and social media, you know, copy on top of just your website, or, you know, it's different levels of help, different um, levels of assistance, that kind of thing. So you can score it and kind of stack your offers and be like, hey, well, if they get this many points, they need a lot of help. <laughs> or they want a lot of help. They want everything off their plate. So scored, I find, could be the best way to um, help people find which offer is best. So, um, and I will say when I have done this before, ChatGPT is a great help. So hop over to ChatGPT, say I want to create a quiz. These are my X number of offers. And give it information about each offer and who's a good fit, what kind of help they're getting. Um, and if you already know, like, okay, I want this to be kind of the low entry offer and this one to be the high entry. You can even say like, this one needs to be the bottom, like lowest number of points, this one to be the highest uh, and have it help come up with questions, have it help you come up with the scoring also. And then you can implement the quiz as you see fit. So what type of help are you looking for? So this is good if you have totally different offers. So I have web design, SEO, and consulting, three different offers. Some of them overlap, but some then they're also completely separate. <laughs> so even you can see like I have my web design and SEO offer for those who are like, yeah, I want both. But sometimes people just want one or the other. So 
figure out like which type of help are you looking for? Maybe you have templates, you have done with you, done for you. You could list it that way. Then how much, how much help are you wanting? So again, we can kind of see, uh, are they wanting just a template, a guide, um, some coaching, or is it like, I want you to just do all of it. You could gauge that way. You could also ask about their budget. If you're prices vary widely, especially if you have like digital downloads, guides, templates, whatever, all the way to done for you completely, like that's going to be a wide range of pricing. So that could also be a different option. And then how soon are you wanting help? This would definitely depend on your services and are you booked out? Do you have offers that you can implement faster than others, um, like a VIP day or just coaching or something rather than like, well, you have to get on my <laughs> wait list for this type of project. So you can see how we kind of help figure, help people figure out what kind of help they're wanting with these types of questions. And depending on your offers, there might be other questions that you need to ask. Maybe it's their type of business. Um, how much content they have. Like it really depends on what you do, but this gives you an idea of how that can work. And then with the results, and then you say, Hey, looks like this is what you need. You need a VIP day, you know, whatever it is. And then, um, you can actually either redirect them to a sales page right away, or you can link to it on that results page. Also, if you want, you could even, um, you, there's an option to add a button. So you can literally say like book a call. You only have one uh, call to action button available. So sometimes you might want to link to a sales page in the description and then the button might be book a call or something of that matter. Um, so there's the quiz set up. Yes, you can use quizzes to also get people on your email list. This is really up to you or not, if you want to implement this or not. Um, obviously, if you're doing a quiz to get people on your email list, you would want to do this. <laughs> but this is more for client generation and getting those leads to actually inquire and book your services. Not that they don't want to be on your email list, but the, it might be... Uh, a turnoff for them. They might not finish the quiz and get the results and go to your sales page. So that's something you can kind of test if you want. But then now is the part where we actually add this to the website. And so if you want to be less, let's say intrusive, <laughs> you could just copy the link right here and you could add a button on your website or hyperlink some text or something and say like, if you need help figuring out which service is best for you, you can take this quick quiz to, you know, find out which offer will help you the most or whatever you want to say. Um, so this just opens the quiz in its own page. It's not embedded on the site. It's not a pop-up. It's like, you're just linking to it just like you link to your Instagram. You also have the embed code. I would probably not do this unless it's going to be its own page completely. Um, I know some business owners have a page on their website where it's like, here's an explanation of the difference of my three offers. And then, you know, if you don't want, like, if you basically kind of want to like compare without having to switch between sales pages, you could embed the quiz on this page underneath that if you wanted. Otherwise, I don't recommend having a quiz just embedded in <laughs> even at the bottom of a sales page, I feel like it would be too distracting. You could do an announcement bar. I probably would not recommend this um, because it's going to likely show on every single page. And that's just, we don't need that on every page. This is really meant for like a specific sales page. Um, the reason I tend to like this just like link is that you can put it down toward the bottom of the page where people might be like, hmm, I'm not sure near the packages where people have had a chance to read the sales page. And maybe they're like, hmm, I'm not sure like what's, you know, or even in the footer. We don't need to call attention to this at the top of the page <laughs> is basically what I'm saying. And then the other option is also you could do a pop-up. Now, again, if you're going to do a pop-up, I would recommend that 
it be definitely on a delay. Like I would take a look at your analytics and see what's the average amount of time someone is spending on your sales page. Maybe it's a minute and eight seconds or five minutes. I would delay it probably 20 to 30 seconds so that people have a chance to actually read and skim through the page before they get this pop up because they might need some time to, to decide. So if you do this, um, make sure you put it on delay. Personally, I don't enjoy Interacts pop-ups because you can't disable on mobile and mobile pop-ups are really annoying. <laughs> so again, I like to go for just the link. Um, there are, if you're on WordPress, there's plugins that you can build pop-ups. Um, I think one is just literally called pop-up builder and you, it does have the option to disable on mobile only. So that's something else you can, could, consider for your quiz. Um, but again, we can use quizzes, yes, for email leads and getting people on our email list, but this could be a good way to help people differentiate um, what kind of, wh where they need help the most and which offer would be the best fit without you having to jump on another discovery call um, or be in the DMs, you know, for an hour back and forth. So something to consider there's a link down in the description below if you want to test it out for yourself and see what you think of Interact Quizzes. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see y'all next time.